and welcome back to the Knitting Mamas podcast. My name's Heather uh, and this is my crafty part of the internet. Uh, it's been a very long time since I was active on uh, this channel with a knitting podcast and I'm really sorry. Um, so I am recommitting myself to one video a month to keep you uh, updated and keep myself accountable of all the knitting goodies I am making because I have a lot of whips uh, scattered around my house and I really need to work on getting them done and also figure out a better time for filming because this is all natural light so I'm really sorry. So what I thought I'd dive on into first is my works in progress. I have a shawl for myself on the go and I have a shawl for my stepmother uh, whose birthday is next month in October and then I will talk about some of my FOs that I've done and gifted this year because I fell back in love with knitting uh, with gifts for a whole bunch of little people in our families and lives. Uh, and then I will talk about some yummy yarn I picked up recently that has got me really inspired to uh, cast on a whole bunch of new things. Um, so if you'd like to join me, that little red subscriber button, um, and let's dive on in. So first one I have is the Colorido. I believe, uh, by Stephen West. It's a very old pattern of his, but I love a range of things and construction um, and shawls he makes. I think I am mostly a shawl knitter, um, but I am only about eight rows into this pattern. Um, it's done on a worsted weight yarn or a medium four, and I'm using the and I'm using the Karen Cakes Aspirations in the colourway Red Velvet um, because it just seems like such a moody, juicy colourway um, and it's quite squishy and the makeup of this is 80% acrylic and 20% wool uh, that has just come from our big box store here in Australia called Spotlight so that's my shawl and I currently have about 60% the way through a shawl for my stepmother. I just went into my stash and found this skein much like the Karen Cakes uh, that's in like tans and light browns and pinks which is really up her alley colourway. Um, and I'm just about finished the third colour and there's five in here so that will be part of her birthday gift and I believe that's in blushed rose colourway um, but I think it was from Spotlight or Lincraft before it closed down I don't know it's just been in my stash for a while um, so I thought I'd get that out I also have cast on and have done one row of a little shoulder cape for my daughter uh, who is now three and a half and that is going to be part of the Ruth Loves to Knit podcast um, make along that she has called Dust Them Off uh, and so I am following the Beau Batons Academy Magic Capelet um, from my Harry Potter Harry Potter Knitting Magic book um, for that one and then I have just a nice throw um, and I just asked my daughter what she colourway she wanted and she picked up this um, multi splash colourful skein out of my stash and I believe it's the Spot Saver Prince from Four Seasons. I think it's a Mill End brand for that. And this is 100% acrylic, so it'll just be easy for her to wear around, play in it, and then just for me to chuck it in the wash. The easy care instructions. And finally, I'm just working on a blanket to go on our couch um, in a lovely lilac color. I'm using 
a chunky cotton acrylic blend uh, and the pattern for this one I'm using is the Take a Sunrise. I am having to modify it a bit because I'm using chunky yarn and the pattern uh, calls for Aran weight. Uh, so I did only 10 rows of the um, seed stitch before going into the main motif and it has a seed stitch pattern up like border around the whole blanket and I think I'm just doing the second size um, and that just for something nice to put on our laps while we're on the couch and that yarn is the Panda Soft Cotton Chunky uh, in a 55% acrylic, 45% cotton. The colour number is 10. Um, mainly because I just wanted to clear out my stash of this one because I have a lot of it. So they are all the whips I currently have on the go that I can easily put my hands on. I know I do have a few other whips around the place. So as I slowly work through these, I will bring more into play. Um, or they may just turn up sporadically as an FO and I'm really sorry for that. But now I will move on to my acquisitions. Uh, so Spotlight here had a really big sale recently on a range of yarns. Uh, so I got myself a bunch of different colours and such. I picked up two of these Sean Sheep Coco in the Nebulous colorway, uh, which is a uh, and it's a DK and it's a 94% acrylic, 6% nylon, and it just has it's just a nice light gray and it has nylon black striping around some of the strands. So I might make myself a little shawl out of these ones, and then I got some. Burnett Softy uh, Cotton in Golden. This is a 3 light uh, or a, I don't know if you call this sports weight, uh, but it requires a 4mm or US 6 knitting needle. Uh, so I might be using this to do some gift knits of uh, face washes or like little bows um, for a range of people. And finally, I have been eyeing up this range and because I just wanted to get a bunch of them because they looked beautiful. And that is the Two of Wands collaboration with Lion Brand Colour Theory. And it is a four medium requiring a, a four and a half millimetre needle, 100% acrylic. So I got it in this lovely sort of sea foam mint color this light is blowing it out uh, in Tullamarine uh, Provence which is this less lovely like dusty mauve color um, in bee pollen just because it sounded fun as a color so more of a mustard dusty yellow Canyon which is a lovely okra sort of burnt orange Satellite, which is another light grey colour as a neutral, and Nutmeg, which is a nice light brown. So I have five. Five of those, so I may try and just make one big project with all of those. I haven't decided yet. I'm sorry about the lighting. Uh, and some FOs I've done is I knit, did some knitted donuts as little gifts. We had two babies born earlier this year, so I made these big sort of velvet ones that were all nice and squishy and so they could like roll on them. And then I've made like some little acrylic ones uh, for sort of three, four year olds. Um, I was for them just to hold and like walk around with. But other than that, I definitely going to get my stepmother's shawl done. I'm going and try and do some more on the cape 
for my daughter. And the other challenge I've set myself for this year is to learn to knit socks. Um, I've tried Magic Loop and VPNs and they're not for me so I ordered the Chow Gu Red Lace Knitting Needles. Uh, so I'll be casting that on very soon. Uh, so these are the 9 inch round Two point five, I think. So they are the two point five millimeter or the one point five US on nine inch or twenty three centimeters. Um, so I would love to hear what you've got on your needles or what the next project you have started, and if you have any thoughts or ideas of what I can use some of this lovely. A new acquisitions for let me know down in the comments and I'll be back at least next in about three weeks if not earlier to give you an update so thank you so much for popping by um, and I'll see you in a different video very very soon bye